In this video, I'm gonna build the ultimate Sony NEX cinema rig. This has been a long time coming. I've had people asking me to do this for a long time. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And it's finally here. The ultimate Sony NEX cinema rig build is happening. So in this video, I'm gonna build up the rig, talk about what parts I used, why I used them, uh, and basically build up the rig. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show some footage I shot with this rig, uh, as well as talk about some tips for getting cinematic video with the Sony NEX cameras. So this will be kind of a two-part series, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for the next part. Also, big thanks to you, Lonzi, for sending me a bunch of the parts for this rig. I'm gonna link their website down in the description, as well as their YouTube channel, so definitely subscribe to them. And if you need any camera accessories, they have a bunch of stuff you can get, and they make really high-quality stuff. Like I said, link to them down in the description to their website and their YouTube channel, and let's get right into this build. All right, so I'm gonna move everything out of the way here and then I'm gonna start one piece at a time and throw it all together. All right, so to start off, the main portion of this rig is of course the camera. And so I'm using the NEX6 for this, but you can use the NEX5, NEX3, NEX7, really any of the NEX cameras will fit in the cage I'm using. Uh, but I just decided to go with the NEX6. Next up we have, of course, the cage. So this is a UU rig cage. Uh, it has this wood handle grip on it, it's super nice. And then of course a bunch of quarter 20 and 3 8 mounting threads all over it. So this is a super nice rig, really high quality. I really love the wooden grip on this because it makes you not really need to buy a separate side handle because this is pretty much its own side handle right there. Let's go ahead and get the camera in there. Even just with this cage on it alone, it makes it so much better for mounting points, uh, for better grip, add some weight to it. Uh, this is seriously just an awesome cage and it makes the camera look a lot beefier as well. And then of course, you can open the battery tray, get into the SD card, all that without having to take the cage off, which is super nice. All right, so next up, I have this right here. This is a small rig uh, base plate as well as two 15 millimeter rods. And so the camera's gonna go right on these so I can mount some stuff to the 15 millimeter rods, uh, as well as lens support if I need it or a follow focus motor. So there you go, that's mounted up to the cage there. Uh, this rig's definitely starting to get a lot beefier now adding some weight to it, which is good to get nice smooth cinematic footage, but we're not even like halfway there yet. So next up, let's attach the lens. So I love these Canon FD lenses. Uh, they're seriously some of my favorite lenses to use. They have such a unique look to them. They're vintage lenses, vintage glass. So they really have that cinematic, unique look to them. And I have a whole set with different focal lengths of them. So that's what I'm using for this rig as well, along with a Photosy FD to NEX adapter. So like with everything else in this rig, I'm gonna link it all down in the description. So let's go ahead and slap this lens on here. Right now I have on here the FD 55 millimeter F 1.2. So this is a really bright, really fast aperture lens. Uh, it looks amazing. It's about an 85 millimeter equivalent. This lens is fantastic. It's really sharp. Uh, it opens up super wide to F 1.2, which is amazing. And it's not super expensive. It's around like the 300 to $400 price point, which for a 55 millimeter F 1.2 lens is super great. But of course it doesn't have autofocus or anything like that. It's a fully manual vintage lens. Let's go ahead and put the top handle on. So this top handle is also from UU Rig, and there we go. So now we got a nice top handle right there with a bunch of mounting points on it as well so you can mount anything else on it like the monitor that I'm about to mount in here right now. This right here is the Fuel World Ultra Bright Monitor. This is a seven inch monitor, so it's really big, really good for pulling focus and getting a great idea of what you're recording. Uh, it's also 2200 nits, so it's never gonna be too dark. You can look at this in the bright sun and you're gonna be able to see it just fine. It's super bright. There we go. So it's definitely starting to get pretty beefy now. We got the seven inch monitor on top there. Uh, of course, it has an HDMI cable. This is a mini HDMI to regular HDMI cable. So that goes right into the side of the NEX here, then right into the monitor. So there we go. There's that. And so next up on the list, we have this right here. So this is a small rig shoulder pad. And I think it's originally meant for like a shoulder mounted rig like that. However, I changed the mount from being on the bottom to being on the side here. So when you mount it on 15 millimeter rods, it actually faces up like this. And so I slid that on there so it's more of a chest mount to get really smooth footage. You can push it up against your chest and just get the extra like steadiness, being able to push it against your chest so it's not shaky at the end of your arms. This thing is seriously awesome. It's really helped me get a lot smoother footage handheld. But actually I forgot one other thing I gotta put on before that, which is this right here. I'll talk about this in a second, but I'm just gonna slide this on before I put the chest mount on. So let's get this chest mount slid right on there and tightened down. So here we go. This is getting a lot beefier now. Got that chest mount so you can push up against your chest 
or your stomach or your shoulder, wherever, and get that really stable footage. But also we got this thing that I just put on there, and that is for the battery. So you may know that NEX cameras have those small FW50 batteries. Uh, they last a decent amount of time, but they're not the best batteries. You know, they, they die after a little while, and you're gonna be changing them out a bunch if you record video constantly. For this rig, I got this right here. I forgot what brand this is, but this is a Sony NPF to FW50 adapter. And so you can get one of these right here, a Sony NPF 970 or 950 or 550, any size of these NPF batteries. You can mount it on there. And this is just a dummy battery that plugs right into your NEX camera. And you get an insane amount of battery life out of these things. Uh, so this is definitely much needed if you're gonna be recording video for a long period of time. And so I'm gonna mount this right up on that little small rig 15 millimeter rod to quarter 20 adapter that I slid on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna open up the battery tray on the bottom of the camera and just slide that in right there. Perfect. And then what I can do is get my MPFW70 battery here. This is a Power Extra brand. These are really cheap on Amazon and they have a bunch of capacity. I'll link these down in the description along with everything else. And there we go, we have power to the camera. And of course, I can't forget about the monitor battery, which is another Power Extra NPF 970 battery. And there we go. That right there is the ultimate Sony NEX camera rig. I don't know exactly how much this weighs, but it definitely has some heft to it, which is good for getting really smooth footage. You can grab onto this handle here, push it up into your shoulder, your chest, get the smoothest footage you need. Uh, you can swap in pretty much any lens you want on this. I use the Canon FD lenses because I think they're awesome, really cinematic looking vintage lenses. You know, they, they're not like perfectly sharp. They have really unique characteristics to them, which I think helps you give that really good film look. But that is the complete rig right there. Again, thank you to you, Lonzi, for sending me a bunch of these parts. I'll link their YouTube channel as well as their website down in the description, as well as everything else I used on this rig. Also, definitely stay tuned for the next video where I show some footage I recorded with this talk about how to get a really good cinematic film look out of the Sony NEX cameras, and I'll just talk more about this rig. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and that wraps up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.